There's a lot of disagreement among doctors when it comes to fibromyalgia. Theories differ as to what causes it and how best to treat it. There's even disagreement about what to call it. Some call it a syndrome, others a disorder, still others a chronic condition. Fibromyalgia is a common chronic pain condition. It affects millions of people in the United States. It's far more common in females than males and can start when kids are in their teen years or even younger. Let's talk more about fibromyalgia and kids. What caused it? How's the symptoms? And what we can do about it? Most kids with fibromyalgia complain of widespread muscle pain, usually a dull or burning kind, but sometimes more of a shooting or throbbing pain. Widespread means the pain happens on both sides of the body, above and below the waist, it can range from mild to severe. Usually, someone with fibromyalgia also has a number of tender spots, places where he or she feels pain if the spot is pressed. Common tender spots include the back of the head, between the shoulder blades, shoulders, chest, neck, hips, knees, and elbows. Fatigue, tiredness, is another common complaint of kids with fibromyalgia. Because of this, fibromyalgia can mimic the symptoms of a similar condition called chronic fatigue syndrome. Fibromyalgia also usually causes sleeping problems that make getting a good night's sleep difficult. Some kids may have other sleep disorders like restless legs syndrome and sleep apnea. Poor sleep can also lead to waking up with body aches and stiffness that may improve during the day, then get worse at night. If your child seems to be suffering from one or more of fibromyalgia's major symptoms, such as chronic muscle pain, fatigue, or disrupted sleep, contact a doctor. While there's no specific test to diagnose fibromyalgia, a doctor can run tests to rule out other possible causes, such as thyroid disorders, infectious diseases, or rheumatic diseases, like juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Since fibromyalgia can be confirmed by any laboratory tests and has few, if any, visible signs, it can be difficult for doctors to diagnose the condition. This can be frustrating for someone who has it. Some estimates claim that it takes an average of five years for someone with fibromyalgia to get an accurate diagnosis, and some doctors are not as familiar with the condition as others. Doctors diagnose fibromyalgia in someone based on medical history, the person's description of symptoms, and a physical exam, including a check of 18 usual tender spots. Most kids with fibromyalgia will have pain when pressure is applied to at least five of the tender spots, and will have widespread musculoskeletal aches lasting for at least three months, with no other medical problem causing the pain. Let's check what treatment suggestions from Stephen Spaulding, MD, Director of the Division of Rheumatology at Akron's Children's Hospital. Fibromyalgia is a pretty chronic, uh, painful, debilitating condition. What we would advocate anybody, uh, you know, if their child has been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, uh, is to think holistically about how you treat your child. Don't just depend on the medications. Have them exercise, you know, that's going to make them feel better over a period of time. They have a reduction in their pain levels. Actually, their sleep habits improve as well, um, and their quality of life improves. We also talk about treatment of anxiety or depression. Be I mean, those are real conditions that we have to address. We have to address the whole person, not just their pain. Uh, so seeing a, a therapist, seeing a psychiatrist, and managing that anxiety or depression is, is important. 
uh, a form of psychotherapy that essentially helps people reframe the way that they're thinking and the way that they're feeling. We give them some coping mechanisms, some coping skills through this cognitive behavioral therapy. All these things fit together and we know offer a very long lasting and sustained improvement in their fibromyalgia symptoms. Some kids also find that changing the way they think about their condition helps improve their symptoms. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, a therapy used by mental health professionals, can help kids learn to filter out negative thoughts, recognize what makes symptoms worse, and set limits to keep symptoms in check. In addition to helping your child manage the symptoms of fibromyalgia, it's also important to provide the necessary emotional support. Talking about the condition and coming up with coping strategies together can help. Many young people also find that support groups, as well as counseling from a trained psychologist, can help them learn to manage their symptoms, feel better, and have a more positive outlook on life. Yes, it is worth it to learn more to get self-awareness on invisible illness. If you think this video is very useful, please do share to your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe the channel so you can get more in future. Thank you for watching and see you soon on next video.